So let's talk about the uh, the leadership deck that I built for Magic. Now this is kind of the deck that I wanted to run last week, and we we ran out of time. But then uh, you know so I was like, this seems like a deck that's going to be fun enough that I want to just take it through the entirety of the campaign. So that's what we're doing here. Good morning, Seven Cent. It was a great time. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Nice. So the idea behind this deck is to just draw all the cards because drawing cards is a lot of fun. So we got Ironheart, Kalu, White Tiger, Maria Hill, Nick, or Cable, Legion, X, Cosmo, Marrow. Where's Nick? Oh, did I not grab Nick? Nick's in here too. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not forgetting about Nick. And Nick. So it's a huge, huge, huge ally lineup, mainly because we also have the missions. And the missions are a new mechanic. We'll go over those briefly, but that's the campaign mechanic, which require allies to carry out those missions. And so I I wanted to make sure that I had enough for that. Good morning, Derek. How's it going? How's everyone doing? We've got th three copies of Spiritual Meditation. Oh, there's Nick. <laughs> I knew I put them in there. Uh, we got two copies of basic spell. Now we actually may cut these out, but I was, this puts us at the, f I think 42 cards. And so we may cut out the basic spell, but I kind of like the basic spell and how it was working. So we're, I wanted to run with it. We are able to modify our deck throughout this campaign. And so we may cut that out. We got the X jet build support and call for backup. we got sorcerer Supreme blood gym. Superpower training. We got superpower training. Treskelion, mission leader, and our doubles. So the idea is to play a lot of allies very inexpensively from the top of our deck, and hopefully that uh, that wins us the game. <laughs> Doing great. Can't wait for the eclipse. I'm I'm pumped. It's it's gonna be exciting. The last eclipse, which was in like what 2017 in this area, was. Uh, we, uh, we weren't near the totality, and so it was just kind of like, oh, cool, the eclipse. And it's like, it's a, obviously a very cool thing, but I've just heard so many, like, crazy things about how the, um, how the full totality of the eclipse, like, looks like. I'm going up to Columbus this evening to visit, uh, Dragon's Lair, one of a board game store up there. I'm hoping that the... I'm ho I'm hoping that the uh, traffic isn't too too bad. Yeah, we're at 41. So good old ally swarm. Heck yeah! And with magic being able to play the cards for less expensive, I I'm thinking that it'll be kind of kind of nice. I didn't run strength in numbers or anything like that. We'll see. We'll see. It's just a lot of card draw already, and so I'm hoping that that works. Okay. I was in the path in 2017. Nice. Yeah. I mean, like, it. I've heard just nothing but, like, super awesome things about it. And so I, I'm really, I'm really, really excited. So I think, I think that's happening around 3 p.m. for us. And so we're, we're going to go over to a park or we're walking to a park and we're going to, we're going to watch it from there. We're going to have a partial here in southern Wisconsin. But anyway, Marvel Champions, baby. Best game ever. How good is the campaign? Uh, this is So I've played Unus. I've played Dark Beast. I've played a couple of the modular sets, but I have not played through the campaign yet. So I this is this is game one of the campaign. So let's figure that out together. See if it's, uh, see if it's awesome. We have the Xavier Institute. Um, this is wrong. Something must have happened during our time jump, says Cable. Oh no, says Phoenix. Charles Xavier is dead. I can't believe it. We'll find out who did this. No need for that, Renegade. You, we found you. Death to the enemies of the apocalypse. It's our, it's our story intro. So scenario one, Unis. So we have the infinite modular set, which has the gene pool, which dissuades chump blocking, which will be kind of fun uh, <laughs> with, with, how, uh, with how we're... Our deck is built but then we also have some campaign instructions we're gonna do the scenario setup first so we go scenario setup then um, campaign setup then player setup 
And so we'll uh, we'll read this first because we have to deal ourselves some encounter card. And so the Age of Apocalypse is not in there. Good morning. How's it going? Champions campaign. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alrighty, so hunting gene traders. Reveal the gene pool side scheme. In expert mode, deal each player a face down encounter card. There's toughness. Una starts with 15 hit points, so let's go ahead and pump him up to 15. And if gene pool is at 3, he gets retaliate 1. 6, he gains stalwart. 9, he gains an amplified token. So we've got retaliate 1 here. Setup. Each player records their identity in the campaign log. We're going to use magic. And then players cannot switch identities through a campaign. Shuffle the Age of Apocalypse modular set into the encounter deck. So this is important because we are not. We know that the Age of Apocalypse modular set is not going to be the card that was dealt to us. Gene Pool. Gene Pool is great. Gene Pool is really great. So Gene Pool permanent setup. After an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, place three threat here. So if you chump block, you place threat there. You don't lose the ally, but you do place three threat there. And then it's going to power up Unis. It's also going to power up a couple of the other cards in the infinite mod set. Hey, Angus, how's it going? Welcome. What's your favorite campaign before playing this one? I think this one will just be, be just as good. I think that my favorite campaign in when we are talking about campaigns, I'm talking about the kind of campaign mechanic, the story, or not necessarily the story, but like the through line of the campaign, probably Sinister Motives. Um, will this one be as good? Maybe not. I, From what I've seen about the missions, and we'll talk about those here probably next bullet point, I don't think I like the missions. I, I don't like the idea of the missions. No, I haven't tried them, so I want to reserve judgment until I actually try them, but I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of what these missions are doing, but we'll see. Uh, randomly select one of the available missions. All right, here we go. So, I thought I read somewhere that I was only supposed to, I wasn't supposed to choose number five. Where did I see that? Yeah. When setting up scenarios one through four, only do mission side schemes one th one out of five to four out of five. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We'll reroll a five or a six. One. Got Sabotage the Seawall. So Sabotage the Seawall has a forced response. After you resolve a mission attempt, place one attempt counter here and deal one damage to each ally at the mission. If there are four attempt counters here, remove the mission team from the game and flip this card over. When defeated, shuffle each player card here into the owner's deck. This is going to come in with five threat. I'm actually going to figure out i'm gonna put this here this is gonna be the mission attempt area seems early to save x yeah right yep <laughs> how's it going what's up how's it how you doing so this is gonna come in with five threat per player and let's talk about missions here because we are going to be playing cards to the missions allies to the missions i should say allies to the missions when you play an ally to the mission good morning how's it going good morning when you play an ally to the mission, it does not have a text box, so all the text boxes are blank. And then you can make a mission attempt where you can exhaust mission team to either reduce the cost of the next ally played to the mission by two or make a mission attempt. Mission attempt, you discard X cards from the top of the deck where X is the number of allies at the mission, and you assign each card to one of those allies. If it has a matching resource icon, sweet, we're good, and we're going to considered a participating ally you're going to remove threats from the mission side scheme equal to the thwart of the participating allies and deal damage to the overseer minions which we're about to grab equal to the attack of the um participating allies now uh yeah they have to be participating deal damage yep 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 remove x threat perfect so it's it's a little weird. We want to we want to take it out. I assume that there's campaign implications for not taking it out. We do get a like a basically and it's an Avenger mansion every single turn when we do take it out. But it, it's I, I it'll be interesting. I don't know. Using X when I's when the story he's dead. 
Does it say that I'm not allowed to use Professor X? Like I know, I know that um, in like Sinister Motors, you're not allowed to use Venom. I guess I could probably cut out X. No, just found it funny. Yeah, I guess I could probably cut out X, but I feel like there's just so many single stage s schemes in this deck or in this uh, campaign, and I don't have any access to confuse outside of leadership. Yeah. It's uh, it's Professor X's clone. How about that? <laughs> we start with 10 health. Okay. Randomly select one of the Overseer minions. I believe I can choose any of these Overseer minions whenever I'm setting up the campaign. Yeah. We roll a six. One, two, three, four. We got the Sugar Man. Victory five. Cannot take damage while another minion is at the mission. After you discard cards, heal three damage from Sugar Man for each physical resource discarded. He comes in with five health. And he cannot, yeah, and victory five. So he's the overseer minion there. If you see X, it means you definitely beat the campaign. Plus time hijinks. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Darcy. <laughs> nice. Uh, first player takes control of mission team. Each player searches their deck for an ally and adds it to their hand. Add plus one hit point to Unis. Oh, thank you. Yep, thank you. Good catch. I think we're going to start here with... Um, ooh, who sh who would we start with? We could start with Nick. We could start with Maria. We could start with Cable. We could start with probably just Colossus, right? I reject your reality and substitute my own. <laughs> exactly. Colossus coming in with toughness and then being able to just start to block Unis. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to go with Nick. We're going to go with Nick. And Nick can... Nick can hopefully draw us into Colossus. I'm super excited for these hero spoilers. Nightcrawler having a location mechanic would be dope. That would be really cool. Oh, that that's an... Yeah, that would be a really interesting way to do that. Do you think we're going to get something on Thursday? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really exciting, actually. Now we're going to draw up to our hand size. We got six. We got Soul Strike. I guess we do have Confused in, in her kit. We'll cut out, we'll cut out Professor X. Is this X? No. Where's X? Okay. Yeah. We'll do that for for theme. Soul Strike. Mission Leader. Call for backup is huge here too for Colossus and Build Support. Interesting. Alrighty, so I think I probably want Call for Backup. We could go build support. That gets us a. That gets us an X jet. Let's stack that like that. We'll go ahead and toss Soul Strike. We don't need Soul Strike. I think we're going to toss. I think we're going to toss build support. I think I'd rather go call for backup than build support. Rip X. <laughs> Ooh, starting the campaign with magic. Yes, I am, Wasteland. How you doing? On the topic of Professor X, one of the achievements for the AOA event was to kill Professor X 20 times. <laughs> oh, geez. It's a fairly decent hand, honestly. I'm not, I'm not too upset with the hand. I would like a double. I think I'm going to... Build support could also grab Limbo, which could be really, really important. If we grab Limbo, hold on, actually, what if we grab Limbo? We can then toss Colossus on the top of our deck and have Colossus cheat Colossus in during the enemy phase for a nice little chump block there. 
we're just gonna we're just gonna mulligan that and we're gonna draw in scrying perfect okay all righty let's go ahead and scry we're gonna look at the top three cards of our deck we got stepping disc the x jet and superpower training we discard one of these draw one of these and put one on the top of our deck let's go ahead and put stepping disc on the top of our deck we're going to draw the x jet and discard superpower training bah hit enter too soon uh sounds like so sounds like what sounds like what all the fingers and toes are crossed for thursday spoilers yeah yeah that'd be that'd be awesome that'd be really really awesome all righty Let's go ahead and flip up. I'm not going to trigger the interrupt when we flip up, but I am going to go ahead and, oh wait, hold on. Sorry. Oops. Let's do this. After resolving step one of the villain phase, place one threat on gene pool. We're going to use Colossus, the X-Jet, mission leader and build support. To play Nick Fury. Draw three cards. One, two, three. Top card is a match barrier. We're going to play Spiritual Meditation. Draw a magic barrier and Spiritual Meditation. We're going to toss magic barrier. Top card is basic spell. We're going to play Spiritual Meditation. I'm going to draw a basic spell. White Tiger. And we're going to toss magic barrier. We'll use a basic spell to play Call for Backup. The funny thing is, for this story, Legion Professor X's son killed Professor X on accident to an attempt to kill Magneto. Uh oh, Legion's time traveling shenanigans killed his dad himself and kicked off the Age of Apocalypse. That's a bummer. Like that. That's a. That's that's not a great thing to carry around emotionally. <laughs> Sounds like we're finding new and amusing ways to use rapid response to recur X to just throw in front of the villain attacks. That's really great. <laughs> uh, did you play a Vulture and Cosmo with her? I have not yet. I have so many, so much to play Cosmo aggressive with her. Energy Spear, Enrage, Sidearm, Training. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it really does look crazy. Okay. Um... So we can go ahead and go Nick Fury and Magic to take out Call for Backup. I'm going to search our deck and discard pile for a ally and put it into play. Let's grab Cable. So we've got Cable. Now we could use Mission Team to play... The top card of our or the next ally to the um to the mission reducing its cost by one he's too he was too dead to notice <laughs> nice oh my goodness okay and the other reason that i did that in that way is that i wanted to see what the top card of my deck was which is a genius which is actually really really tough i don't like that at all <laughs> we could go white tiger we could play stepping disc See, like, I just, like, I'm having a hard time just caring about this. With how much we use him to block villain attacks, no wonder X is dead. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I think we're going to go two here to remove two from Gene Pool. I'm going to use White Tiger to play Stepping Disc. So that's going to ready magic. And we're going to take a card and put it on the top of our deck. Which is going to be... Actually, you know what? We could go, like... We could go scrying and draw the genius, but then we don't have anything that we're doing. So let's just go Colossus. Mission field is really hard to take care of. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It's kind of weird because, like, I guess, like, I would want to throw, like, Nick over there. But it was, I felt like it was a fairly decent, I don't know. 
I'm not sure if I want more spoilers yet. It depends on when they release. If the next two release in July, then news is fine. But if the delay pushes two to September, I don't want news yet. I really like returning Scrying with Stepping Disc. I, yeah, that's a good one to return. 100%. Yeah. I guess we will just... We'll thwart one here. All right, let's stand up. We've got Colossus, Genius, Soul Sword. There's my piercing. Stepping Disc, and Treskelion. Top card is a Legion. All right. We'll go one. And then we'll add one here. Colossus is when an, inter uh, when an enemy attacks, you play Colossus from your hand, reducing the cost by one. So, it, Unus is going to attack. We're going to go ahead and use Genius and Stepping Disc to play Colossus. And we're declaring him as the defender without exhausting him. Two, place one threat on the mission side scheme. Give the activating villain an additional boost card. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, plus three, that's going to knock the toughness. Nelson, out here uh, being Barry Manilow. Could it be magic? Hello, turning turkey today, but just want to pop my head through the door, as it were. How's it going? Welcome. We had two encounter cards. The first one being Infinite Soldier, Guard, and he has Quick Strike. So he's going to attack for two. I'm just going to take the hit. One, two. And then we got Hunted, Alter Ego Action. Discard a card from your hand to discard this card. It has a hazard. That's not a great start. Nick Fury is going to go away. The end of the round. Hmm. I could play Soul Sword, or I, I probably want to just get rid of Haunted, don't I? Probably. Sorry if I missed it, but is Summoning Spell in the deck? It is not. I'm not running Summoning Spell. I had, the couple times I played Magic in Leadership, I was having a hard time with Summoning Spell, mainly because, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Um... I think I think it works, but no, summoning spell is not currently in this deck iteration. I think what we're gonna do, well, Legion's only a one-one. Like I don't really wanna do I wanna commit Legion over to I guess I will, whatever. We'll go Treskelion and Mission Team to play Legion to here. I have Magic and Colossus take out the Soldier. Cable will go ahead and thwart two here. We're going to flip down to Alter Ego form. Discard this card from our hand to get rid of Haunted. Hazards are bad. Hazards are bad, yeah. Yeah. You could have had Nick Fury defend against the Quick Strike. I could have, but I didn't want to place the three threat on Gene Pool. Because I think that my... My damage is going to be less valuable than a lot of threat removal early in the game. Nick doesn't activate the gene pool because it came out due to an ability, not consequential damage. Oh, shoot. You're right. Uh, Actually, he's not defeated. He is he's discarded. He's not defeated. Don't play Legion to the mission area. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why not? Like, it would be nice to have him, but I'm also, like, I'm losing, I think, a lot of efficiency if I don't put him into the stand-up. Where's Limbo? There's Exorcism. That's nice. The Crown. Stepping Disc. Spiritual Meditation. Strength. And Soul Strike. Give me... Pictures of Spider-Man. 
Yeah, his text box is blank, but... Yeah, no, I, I know that he won't get his kickers, but I'm also like... I have a lot of allies in the deck, and it would be really nice to have him out here. But if I put him out here, then I have the hazard, or I'm not using like two resources. No, the only way that... It, yeah, I wouldn't be... I could hold on to a card. I don't know. I feel like I need to just like just throw some stuff over there. I think the idea is to just throw as many allies over there as possible and get rid of it. He has low stats. He does, but I get like I I used all my resources rather than not using all my resources, I guess. I guess I could have I could have kept him. So like if I keep them, I could keep Soul Sword. Yeah, like I um, like I had to have a card to discard Hunted, so he's in my hand now, and so now, like I don't play him, I don't play a card, I discard a card, and then I'm discarding a card. So I'm like I'm discarding two cards, or I can play him to the mission, for effectively free. Alrighty, we're going to go one here. Unis is going to uh, scheme for two. You are stunned. If you're already stunned, take two damage. We need one here, actually. Then our encounter card. Are right, you schemed for two. Counter card is Agent of Apocalypse. Guard, choose either add Agent of Apocalypse to the mission area or it activates against you. Man, we've had two of the Age of Apocalypse cards. Why would I want? Why do I want to take out Sugar Man? Do I? Why do I care if Sugar Man is defeated? I guess. Is there like a negative campaign implication for not taking out Sugar Man? I assume. Or can I not take threat? The mission side scheme cannot be defeated while there are any minions in the mission area. Got it. That's right. Okay. You can't defeat the mission side scheme while an overseeing min. It seems like there's a lot of like ticky tacky things about the mission stuff. I think the mission doesn't count unless he goes down. True. I think the mission isn't considered complete until you defeat him. Cool. Thank you. We're going to have him just scheme against us. Okay. It is our turn. Let's play spiritual meditation. I'm going to draw Blood Gym, basic spell. I'm going to discard basic spell. Let's go ahead and flip up. We're going to interrupt and place a soul strike on the top of the deck. I'm going to use a genius to play exorcism to remove four threat from here and confuse Unis. I'm going to have Cable go ahead and take out Agent of Apocalypse. I'm going to knock Cable out. I'm going to play Blood Gym. Colossus is going to thwart two here. We were going to remove the stun.
Soul Strike. This is also gone now. Sup, Nelson? How's the campaign going? Pretty good. Pretty good so far. We are on like turn three of the campaign. So uh, I'm enjoying it. Right now I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to do with my life. Um, so we have... We could play the crown. I don't think I really want to play the crown. We could stepping disc. I think I want to put stepping or use stepping disc to put Colossus on the top of my deck. Um, if I do that, yeah, let's do that. Let's go Soul Strike to play Soul Strike. Deal four damage here. The top card of our deck is a Lightning, so it does not work, unfortunately. But. Here we are. Magic's Crown is going to play Stepping Disc. We will ready. I'm going to put Colossus on the top of our deck. It does have to be a... Where's Colossus? Am I like... Am I just... Oh, Colossus is right there. Oh, shoot. That changes things. Uh... <laughs> Oops. Um... Hmm. That's honestly kind of funny. We'll go Magic Barrier. Then we will go ahead and attack Unis for two. One, two. Been over here stressing out on this one fix to a custom card I make that breaks the game, so I decided to take a break from it right now. <laughs> Turn three and you haven't won yet? Where's that Star-Lord deck? You right. You right. I, I, I deserve that. I deserve that. Colossus is... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's stand up. Where's my Limbo? Got Magic Barrio, Marrow, Maria Hill. Limbo, there it is. Energy 2, 4, 5. Top card is Ironheart. We also don't have Sorcerer Supreme yet. We got one here. Got one here. An enemy initiates an attack. Let's go ahead and just block with Colossus. It'll be two, four. It's going to take out Colossus, which is then going to add three threat to Gene Pool, which is going to give Unis his retaliate back. Then our encounter card is Master Plant. Oh, shoot. We're going to add four threat here. Well, that's not good. Okay, so now he has... Oh, I definitely should not have done that. But he has Stalwart, so that goes away. And he has 9, so he has an Amplify icon. Ugh. Well, that's less than desirable. Hmm. Bummer. Go Energy to play Maria Hill. We'll draw Ironheart. We got Kalu on the top. Magic Barrier will play Limbo. We'll go ahead and use Limbo. To swap Marrow with Kalu. No, we're going to swap Ironheart with Kalu. And we're going to use Magic's ability to use Kalu to play Ironheart. Draw us a card into Mystical Armor. And have Exorcism there. We're at 8. I know the feeling. Currently learning both PHP and Java. I have the assignments over classes making me want to tear your hair out. Oof. Domino Hero is a superstar here for missions. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, being able to swap the, that top card of the deck. We are going to Blood Gym, our Mystical Armor. Take two, one, two. So now we have Retaliate one. And if it's a Lightning or a Wild resource on the top of the deck, then we get uh, plus one defense. We're going to use Mission Team to play Marrow down over here. Maria Hill, Ironheart, and Magic are going to thwart four off of Gene Pool. We'll stand up.
I'm going to draw Exorcism, Sorcerer Supreme, Cosmo, and Counter Card. Yeah. Yeah, the, the missions are interesting. So, like, on a perfectly successful mission attempt, we would have to go three times, which is not, not the end of the world. But it, at three times, we could... We could take out the mission. It does feel like these games are the missions just make it a lot longer because you do want to kind of stall. Glad we have Sorcerer Supreme Energy, Magic Barrier two, four, five, six. Top card of the deck is a Colossus. Actually, that's huge. We're gonna just keep Colossus there. Heck yeah. Add one and one. Unis is going to attack. We are going to use an energy to play Colossus to declare him as the defender, which is going to go two plus three, knock the toughness off of Colossus. We got two encounter cards. Calling the weak. Plays four threat on gene pool. Oh, geez. So that's a 10. That's a brutal card. And we've got Sinister Strike. Place one Pursuit counter on Pursuit by the past. Then, if there are any counters on it, he attacks us. So it's going to be an attack of three plus a boost card. Let's go ahead and use Build Support to play Magic Barrier. When an enemy initiates an attack, uh, prevent three damage from the attack. Then if the top card of your deck has a Lightning or Wild Resource icon, deal three damage. So we're going to deal three damage. One, two, three. He's going to attack for three, four. We take one damage, and then he's going to take one from our retaliate. Where does Phoenix go swimming? In the gene pool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's funny. All righty. It is our turn. I have to make mission attempts at some point, right? Is it worth making the mission attempt now, knowing that I at least have one success? Potentially? Or do we just play stepping disc because stepping disc is really good? Let's go ahead and go two, three, five. To hit gene pool. Let's uh let's let's do a mission attempt. I'm gonna discard a stepping disc and a magic barrier. So we're gonna apply this to marrow. We're gonna remove one threat here and deal two damage here. Top card of our deck is spiritual meditation. We'll play spiritual meditation from the top of our deck. We'll draw two cards. It's a soul strike. The top card of our deck is a lightning. We do have a limbo, but we don't have any physicals to swap. And so let's go ahead and discard. Oh, I, I should have done that differently. It didn't matter. Uh, we'll discard exorcism. No, we'll discard soul strike. We'll use a genius to play sorcerer supreme, upping our hand size. Unus has a boost icon from the last attack. Yeah, that's why I said he attacked for three. So, I, ju I just added that into the base attack. He has a printed attack of two, but he attacked for three. But yes, good call. Um, oh, I, hmm. I didn't think about not... Uh, I guess I have Blood Gym. I'm at five health. That's not great. A hero. Nice. Hey, Aiden. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's limbo Cosmo for Kalu. We're going to blood gym Kalu exorcism to remove four threat from gene pool and confuse Unis.
because we have a mental on the top. We don't have any health, which is not super desirable, but here we are. You know what? Actually, at this point, we're going to flip down to Alter Ego. We'll stand up. Magic, magic is, magic does have a lot of kind of sequencing to her, which can be pretty challenging to play. One, two, three, four, five, six. White Tiger, that's exciting. And Cable. We could use Limbo. I don't think there's any reason to use Limbo right now. Let's go ahead and add a threat here. Add a threat here. Unis is confused. I'm going to get an encounter card, which is Hunted again. At least we're in Alter Ego. Good luck. You playing Standard 3? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Standard 3 is great. Uh, Aiden, how are you finding Magic after some games? Any preferred aspects? Uh... I really like her. I really like uh, I really like magic. I'm having a ton of fun with magic. I my uh was for aspects. I think leadership seems like a natural fit for her. Um I like I like magic, yeah. I like magic. I I like I'm trying to think um, protection was also pretty fun because she can get like pretty high defense. Protection was fun. All right. We could interrupt. We don't have retaliate anymore. We could interrupt. We do have a physical resource. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and flip up to magic. No, actually, before we do that, hold on. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and discard soul strike to get rid of hunted. Then we're going to flip up to magic. We're going to put soul strike on the top of our deck. Let's use Mission Team and Basic Spell to play White Tiger 2. If they're all Lightning Resources, this is dumb. I, I'm i having a hard time with managing that. Um, and I know that this is a Mental, so it's not going to stun. Yeah. But, okay, so what I can do is I can go Cosmo. I'm going to have healed when I was down there, actually. One, two, three. I'm going to use Cosmo to play Stepping Disc. That's going to stand me up, and it's going to allow me to grab Exorcism. I'm going to use Mission Leader to play Exorcism from the top of the deck. Remove four threat from here. And then it's a mental resource, so I'm going to confuse it in this. You didn't want an infinite stunlock. I don't have a deep knowledge of Marvel. What hero would be all about healing characters? One cool question. If I play solo and four tokens are on the card, I flip it, right? Yes. Good call. And I need to add a mission attempt. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Um, Colossus is going to thwart two off a of gene pool. Magic is going to punch Unis for two. One, two. Let's stand up. Got Soul Strike, Cable. I want to get Cable over to here. Scrying. Nick, 2 4. Spiritual Meditation and Soul Sword. Also, Nick would be good over there as well because he's a 2 2. Let's go one here and one here. Unis is going to attack us for two. Honestly, we're going to block this. Our top card is a lightning, so we have three defense. He's attacking for two. Uh, place one threat on the mission size game. Ugh. Gross. Um, and an additional boost card. You are stunned. If you're already stunned, take two damage instead. We take no damage, and we deal one damage to Unis because we have retaliate one. Our encounter card is going to be an infinite hunter. Deal three damage to an ally you control. Great. And that's going to go here and place three threats on Gene Pool. 
Yeah, they really don't like allies in this in this uh, campaign, do they? <laughs> Alrighty, so I think the goal here is to get probably cable over here. If I can get cable over there, then we're feeling pretty good. I could limbo cable and get cable over there for one resource. Um, let's let's scry. We've got stepping disc, superpower training, and a magic's crown. We are going to put magic's crown on the top of our deck. We will take stepping disc and discard superpower training. The reason we want magic's crown on the top of the deck is because that's a mental resource. Which is going to allow us to get cable. Let me see if I have any doubles left. I have two doubles. I have one double left. Strength. Hey, Jester. Dum Dum is one of the best solo mission allies. Unless you're Justice, then it's Captain Britain. It'll help you out a lot. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about that. I don't think I like it. We're going to... I want to make a mission attempt. Let's go Nick, spiritual meta. Or we're going to hang on to spiritual. Nick, soul strike, soul sword, and stepping disc to play cable to the mission. We're going to make a mission attempt. So we're going to discard four cards. We got one, two, three, four. So we're going to activate. Sorry, this is like right where my my light, I can't see this. Um, so we are going to activate uh, White Tiger, Cable, and Marrow. So that's going to take out Sugar Man. After you discard cards, heal three damage from Sugar Man for each physical resource. So he would, that's a forced response. So he's going to heal, but we still deal enough damage. His victory. And then we're going to remove two, four, five threat from them from here. Top card is a spiritual meditation. Okay. The infinite hunter is mean. Holy cow. Funny thing you did with our mission allies. We put professor X over there to use his big old three thwart and gave him a sidearm. Well, <laughs> nice. Nice, yeah, because you can play, you can play attachments on the on the allies over here. I guess we'll play spiritual meditation from the top of our deck. We'll draw into the X jet and basic spell. We're gonna keep one of these and discard one of these. We'll discard basic spell. Top card of our deck is a basic spell. But we've already used the ability there. We'll use spiritual meditation to draw basic spell and exorcism. We're at six health. We're going to get rid of the X jets. We're going to use blood gem and... Exorcism to play basic spell to deal three damage to infinite hunter. And we don't have, we're, we're about to die. We're going to lose. Uh, I could flip down. I'm going to flip down. Did I flip up that turn? Oh, geez. Oh, no. That was a longer turn. I don't think so because he was confused. I don't think I confused him this round. Did I confuse him this round? Oh, crap. No, because I defended last turn, so I was not. So I'll flip down. I'll stand up. Got Ironheart. Stepping Disc. Soul Strike. Magic Barrier. I've been using Deadpool Ally for mission attempts. He does real well. Yeah. 
two, four, five. And like, and, and maybe that's just what it is that I, you have to kind of build for, you kind of have to build for the campaign. I don't know. It, it's like, I don't, I don't want to put a ton of allies in the deck for their sole purpose to me not play with them. Dealing damage while stunned. Mystic solves a lot of problems. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> Let's add one here and one to gene pool. We're confused here. We do have retaliate back. I'm going to scheme for two. First encounter card is calling the weak. Place four threat on gene pool. Jeez. And we got infinite prelate. Unus activates against you. If the amount of threat is nine, is at least, he gets a tough, oh geez, oh my gosh, this is not good. He gets a tough set, or he's going to activate against us. So he's going to scheme for three, attach this card to an infinite minion. It gets uh, plus two hit points. When it's defeated, place two threat on gene pool. So he's scheming for three. Takes us to eight. Then, tough status card. He's going to heal three. One, two, three. He gets an additional boost card. For So that's one more. Magic is stunned. You can't deal damage. Yeah, I can't attack. Good catch, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except that just hurt. Okay. It is our turn. We have to deal with threat here. We have we have to start chump blocking. I think we're just going to play the rest of the game without looking at gene pool. <laughs> Let's heal for three. One, two, three. We're going to flip up and place a spell on the top of our deck, which probably is going to be basic spell. Because now we can use magic barrier to play basic spell to deal three damage here. I'm going to place two threats on gene pool. Okay. Top card is a exorcism. So we'll go ahead and make our mission attempt. Discard exorcism. Scrying barrier. Stepping disc, which will clear this. Shuffle each player card into the owner's deck. So that's at least nice. We're going to get those allies back relatively quickly. We're going to flip this card over. If you flip this to the side, remove each card from the mission area from the game. The mission was not defeated. The mission was defeated. Find North America's seawall, remove it from the game, and each player deals three damage to an enemy. What's North America? Was that supposed to do something? The mission was to see to find North America's seawall. Remove it from the game. Would that be in this deck? I'm having or was I supposed to put a card from here? Yeah. Was I supposed to put this card into the deck? Look at the campaign log. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, well. Well, okay. Oops. Okay. So, 
I guess I just missed it where it told me I had to look at the campaign log. Follow the setup direct directions. Okay, well, I don't know how to fix that now. That's out of the game. Uh, so, when defeated, shuffle the... Nope. The mission was defeated. Find North American Sea Wall. Remove it from the game. And each player deals three damage to an enemy. Oops. Sorry about that. We made that same mistake on Unis. We played through it. Yeah. The missions have a lot of upkeep. A lot of upkeep. Okay. Top card of the deck is the crown. At least we know now for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's use... Soul Strike to play Stepping Disc. That's going to ready, and then we're going to put Exorcism on the top of our deck. We're going to Limbo to swap Exorcism with Kalu. We're going to use Ironheart and Cosmo to play Exorcism to remove 4th Threat from here. We're going to Thwart 1 here. Take that down to 4. <laughs> the wall was at the bottom. Yeah, the wall was at the bottom. <laughs> and we'll stand up. We got Kalu, the crown, spiritual meditation, white tiger, legion, two, four, five, mission leader, superpower training on top. I'm going to add one here and one here. Unis is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. We're at seven. We are going to, oh, and then mission team flips over. We're at seven. We're going to take the hit three after the activation results, place one pursuit counter. So we take one, two, three, we deal one back for the retaliate. Then our encounter card is Infinite Hunter. Deal three damage to an ally you control. Jokes on you, I don't have any allies. Ha ha. All right. We'll go mission team to draw a card into superpower training. Top card of the deck is Soul Sword. We're going to look for our doubles. All our doubles are in the deck. So let's go ahead and Spiritual Meditation to draw Soul Sword and Colossus. Top card is Maria Hill. Alrighty then. We're going to discard Superpower Training. Let's use our ability and discard Kalu to play Maria Hill. I'm going to draw a card into Genius. And then the top card is Stepping Disc now. I like that. I like that. That's nice. Okay. Let's use Mission Leader and Genius. We have not had any side scheme other than Gene Pool <laughs> to play White Tiger. That'll draw one, two cards, which gives us Cable. Build supports now on the top of our deck. I would like to play... Yeah, I can. Sick. Okay, let's use Colossus, Soul Sword, and Cable to play Legion. We know the top card is a mental, so we're going to be removing two threat from a scheme after Legion does a basic activation. Let's go ahead and just attack to remove stun. And use Magic's Crown to play Stepping Disc. And that's going to put Colossus on the top of our deck. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and port one here and remove two because that's a mental then we're going to do what we want we put classes there stepping disc readied we're going to attack for two here white tiger is going to attack for two to take out the hunter the nice thing about just ignoring gene pool is you can chump block now <laughs> so we'll go two off of the main 
and then we'll stand up. Now, the problem with that is we're going to, we're spending a lot of, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of cards that are going to mess with gene pool. So we have to be a little bit careful there. We're going to go ahead and use Limbo to swap Colossus with the top card of our deck, which is going to be a Triskelion. Which I guess matters, but one and one. Unis is going to attack. We're going to use our ability to play Energy, Colossus, and we're going to discard White Tiger. And he is the defender for a 3-4-5, which will knock the tough. Seems more, much more difficult to maintain this scenario in true solo. Yeah. Especially with the mission site. Like, I feel like when I played Unis by himself, he was fine. But when I had to manage the mission as well, that's where it got a little tricky. Because I, was, I, I think I was trying to do both, and I should have just picked mission or gene pool. And then whatever happened, happened. Top card of the deck is a strength. Our encounter card here is a genetic experiment. Attached to an infinite minion. Otherwise, this card gains surge. It's going to surge into a hey, targeted for extermination. When defeated, the player defeats this scheme, confuses their identity. Comes in with three and a crisis. We're at eight health on Unis. We're at eight health on Unis. On stage one, I should say. On stage one. The retaliate is annoying. <laughs> um, magic has this back. Let's play Spiritual Meditation. We're going to draw strength. Deal ourselves an encounter card. I, I really like magic, though. I really like Unis. I think I think I think the missions and and is there anyone in the chat that enjoys the missions? Am I am I just have I just had like a, a a tough first go at the missions and like it's put a bad taste in my mouth? Are do people enjoy the missions or are they are they kind of feeling like me? Draw one card. Oh, we have all of our doubles. Stepping disc is on the top. I don't know why I said we had all our doubles. We definitely don't have all the doubles. Um, definitely not enjoyable. Just there. There's a lot of work for a little reward. I agree. I agree. I 100% agree. We do have to discard a card. We're going to discard Soul Strike. Mission team is going to draw a stepping disc. Top card of the deck is Magic Barrier. I feel like they're more viable to use in standard. Oh, Okay. I like the missions made me think differently about allies and how I defend, but the upkeep was a bit annoying. They should have had an immediate effect when they're finished, along with something that carries into the next scenario. Huh. How does magic compare with Gandalf so far, in your opinion? The missions are meh. Okay. I like um I like Gandalf more. I feel like Gandalf, there are just a lot more phases in Lord of the Rings, and so you can utilize his ability like five times per round rather than twice per round. Um, that being said, you typically have more resources in Lord of the Rings the longer you go, and so you can utilize his ability more so, and then you have a little bit more flexibility with... I, I like Gandalf more. <laughs> Shame the reward isn't better. Next evolution, rewards, way outpaced these rewards. Mm. It did deal damage to an enemy, which threw it threw three damage into a tough. The top card is a physical... Let's go ahead and have Maria thwart two off of targeted for extermination. And knock Maria out. Legion is going to thwart one here. Discard this and deal two damage to Unis. One, two. Then I'm confused. Blitzing the mission in two players so you get the card draw is nice though. Get it done in three rounds. I think that's how I'm going to approach them going forward is... Who cares about the scenario? Blitz the mission. Because then you get the mission team. You don't have to worry about any of those cards in there. I actually like them. It's a different take on the regular play pattern. Sweet. Okay, good. Yeah. 
Good. We'll go strength and energy to play Nick. Uh, what's the top card? Basic spell. Let's use Treskelion to play basic spell to deal three damage here. One, two, three. Top card is Ironheart. Let's use Strength and Energy to play Nick Fury. Um, which is going to draw one, two, three. We got Ironheart, Stepping Disc, and Cosmo. Top card is going to be Soul Sword now. Okay, so Unis is at three. Be nice to play the Soul Sword for piercing. I have four health. I don't have a lot of <laughs> I don't have a lot of ways to attack him. Uh just because of that retaliate. So I'll need to heal at some point. Let's use Nick to deal two. When he's revealed, he is just, yeah, okay. Colossus will hit him for two, which will push him to stage three, where he gets toughness. And 18 hit points. All right. Let's use Let's use Stepping Disc and Cosmo to play Ironheart. We're going to overplay Colossus here. Ironheart's going to draw us into Soul Sword. She's going to put the top card of our deck as Spiritual Meditation. Ironheart's going to ping the Tough, which is going to knock Ironheart out. I'm going to use Stepping Distance Soul Sword to play Marrow. Deal two damage to Unis. One, two. Marrow is going to deal two, one, two, and knock Marrow out. I think missions will definitely take some getting used to. Hopefully getting better with them makes them more fun because they sound so cool in the articles. That's, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. It, and it may just be one of those things that I need to just kind of get used to, get used to all the upkeep, right? It's like I love Lord of the Rings and there's just a stupid amount of upkeep in that game. So it maybe it's just the unfamiliarity of them. We have 14 health left. Let's go ahead and attack for two. One, two. We'll take one. Let's stand up. We got spiritual meditation, superpower training, X Jet, Exorcism, two, four. Spiritual Meditation, and Mission Leader. Top card of the deck is a Soul Strike. I'm not going to limbo anything there. We got one here, one here. Unis is going to attack for a stupid amount, and we're going to block with Nick, and even higher more. So it was four, it was an attack of seven. So Nick gets knocked out. We're going to add three here. Gosh, I hope there's not a bad... Bad effect for having a lot of threat on Gene Pool. Loving all this Apocalypse content. Good. Hey, Roland, how's it going? How you doing? Top card. We got two encounter cards. The first one is targeted for extermination. Defeated The player defeated this. Confuses their identity. Comes in with three. And then Sinister Strike. Uh oh Place one pursuit counter. Then the villain is going to attack us. So it's going to be four plus a boost card. We're going to block with Legion here. Plus two. It's going to knock Legion out. And we're going to put, we have 20 threat on Gene Pool. 
Oh, I really hope it doesn't say like, if there's 25 threat in gene pool, you lose the game. It's like, oh no. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go spiritual meditation to draw soul strike. White tiger, beautiful. Magic's crown is on the top. Let's go ahead and toss the superpower training. Let's limbo to swap white tiger for magic's crown. Then we're going to use mission leader and X jet the magic's ability to play white tiger from the top of our deck, reducing the cost by one and drawing three cards, spiritual meditation, Kalu and a magic barrier. Unis is at 12. We're at three. Top card of the deck is a stepping disc. That's probably worth it. Let's go spiritual meditation. We draw a stepping disc and exorcism. Top card of the deck is a cable. We will toss exorcism. Don't need that. So we have soul strike. For four damage. White Tiger is two. Magic is two. That puts him at four. Does damage get dealt? Yeah. Okay. So if we can get another Soul Strike and pay for it, we win the game. So there's one in there. Do we have two or three? Is there 20 threat in Gene Pool? Your win doesn't count. Oh, sad. <laughs> I think there's only I think there's only two soul strikes in that deck, right? So there's a soul strike. We can go stepping disc, spiritual meditation, bludgeon. We don't have enough. Oh, we have mission team. We're good. We're good. Okay. So let's go ahead and attack for two here. One, two. We will take a damage. We will yo magic barrier to play stepping disc. To put Soul Strike on the top of our deck. Mission team will draw Soul Strike. Oh. And White Tiger will deal two. One, two. Which will knock out White Tiger. But then I'm going into the next scenario with one health, which is probably not great. Brant! Missions would have benefited from gradual benefits or completed steps. Uh but I think that's what's happening. We're going to play Soul Strike. Deal four. One, two, three, four. We take one. Final Soul Strike. One, two, three, four. And we have one health going into stage. Or into Horseman. Oops. <laughs> oh, yikes. Alrighty. So, cool. Um... <laughs> Strike the mission side scheme from the campaign log. If the mission side scheme was defeated, follow the defeated instructions for that side scheme on the defeated campaign log. So remove North American Seawall side scheme from the campaign. Each player chooses a support from any aspect that may include one copy of that card in their deck for the rest of the campaign. That card does not count against your minimum deck size. It is interesting that it counts against maximum, but not minimum. Um, ooh, Okay. What do we what do we go for a support an off as, off aspect support? That's kind of that's exciting. That's kind of fun. Um, boot camp would be kind of interesting. Um, I guess we can look through cards. And I am asking for suggestions just because I'm curious what y'all would what y'all would pick. Boot camp is interesting. I feel like aggression. Healing factor. Healing factor. I thought that was an upgrade. Is that a support? Unis is a fight I really enjoy. Four horsemen. Next up is intrigued to see how it goes also. Healing factor is an upgrade, unfortunately. Yeah. But that is interesting. What are what supports do we have in uh pool? We have plot convenience. Plot convenience could actually be really nice. The flurry of activations and triggers with four. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Be interested to see how that goes. Med med team is always interesting. I think med team could be pretty beneficial, especially with like Legion cable. We want to keep those allies alive. 
And so med team allows us to do that. I think med team's a, a pretty high contender. We can put any of the blue supports in there regardless. So we got beat cop. Surveillance team. So many upgrades. Oh yeah, that that was the support one. I'm thinking I'm thinking boot camp or um I'm thinking boot camp or med team. What are we feeling? I'm I'm kind of leaning towards med team. I think med team provides a little bit more support than making sure that there's not any supports in here or anything. Yeah. Let's go, Matt team. Nice. Cool. I, I do like it when campaigns bring in off aspect cards. The mission size scheme was not defeated. The overseer minion was defeated. Strike its name from the campaign log. Record each identity's remaining hit points, which is one. Yay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then we got Domino and Deadpool. These guys just keep coming. Guess that's why they call them infinites. Ah, uh, everyone rally on me, Magic. Get us out of here. Welcome to the Resistance, X-Peeps. Who are you? Where have you taken us? We are X-Men, and this is our home. Magneto? What happened to Professor X? You mean my friend Charles Xavier? He died in Cairo years ago. Soon after Apocalypse attacked the United States and conquered all of North America. Charles always dreamed of peace between mutant or between human mutant. We X-Men fight Apocalypse in his name. At last, we found the X-Men's headquarters. Destroy them all. We got scenario two, the four horsemen next. What time is it? It is 11.22. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and run through the four horsemen. I don't think, hmm. I wonder if I modify the deck at all. I don't know if I do. I guess I could, I guess I could throw like Dum Dum. I think Dum Dum in the, I think Dum Dum goes in there. And it's weird because it's like not, not a card that I would put in the deck, but it's like just a very, very good, um, Mission player. And I guess like all of the wilds are good as well. So he's a physical. I just wish I play a campaign more often. Also, oh no, four horsemen. <laughs> like Venom is kind of interesting because he's a wild. He matches everything. He's a two, three. Dum Dum's a three three. I honestly kind of think Venom is a could be a better choice. We do have a lot of we do have a lot of manipulation with the top card of our deck with magic. Also allies with drawbacks. That's kind of why I'm thinking Venom. Any other wilds that I can just play? Let's see what these two, I think I may take out. I want to take out build support. I don't think I need build support. Now we have med team now, but that back. Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool. Deadpool is a good one. Yes. Good call. Good call. Neris. Yeah. He has got a wild. Deadpool's just a good card, too. Let's grab Deadpool. Eh. Just the thought of Venom going on a mission. <laughs> and the nice thing is, is that they... They don't take consequential damage. They... 
can be they can be reduced cost. Um, okay, we got cable. I want to keep cable. Figure out what cards I should cut out. I think I'm going to cut out the X Jet. I don't ever really feel like I need the X Jet with magic. Mission Leader is nice. Do we need Marrow? I could probably I could probably cut out Marrow. Where does that put us at? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 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 That puts us at forty. I guess forty-one with this. Let's try that. Let's try that. And see what happens. Oh my gosh. One health is tough. One health is not going to be great. Um, <laughs> but I think with the, the mission side schemes, it's, it's going to be a little bit better. Or like with, with the allies in here directly, which are going to be directly used to combat the sides, or the missions. I think that'll be nice. I do need Dystopian Nightmare out of here in Standard 3. An expert, I guess. Not the infinites. So, man. We do need AOA as well. Number three. Yeah, okay. So, game one down. Game one down. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I've had better better ends of a campaign. Or of a campaign game. I think going in with one health is going to be pretty tough. <laughs>